knee pain with running or squatting? In this episode, we're going to talk about patellofemoral pain syndrome. Patellofemoral pain syndrome goes by a bunch of different names, really just a fancy way of saying that you have pain in between the femur, which is the leg bone, and the patella, which is your kneecap. Some other common names are chondromalacia patella, patella tracking disorders, and also patellofemoral arthralgia. All these really are the same diagnosis, so for this video I'm just going to use patellofemoral pain syndrome as kind of a catch-all for all of them. The symptoms of patellofemoral pain syndrome are pain around the knee or behind the kneecap, and they're generally worse with any activity that requires bending the knee, so squatting, sitting for too long, going up and down stairs, running or jumping, all of those will typically produce pain somewhere around the kneecap. The theory behind why people develop patellofemoral pain syndrome has really kind of changed over the last couple of years. So it used to be thought that the VMO muscle, which is the vastus medialis oblique muscle, it's the part of the quad on the inside portion of the knee, was weak, and that the iliotibial band, which is the band on the outside of the leg, was tight, and so this would cause the patella to shift to the outside portion of the leg, leading to irritation on the outside portion of the kneecap. The idea that a muscle imbalance between the VMO and the IT band is an outdated theory. The current idea of why people develop patellofemoral pain syndrome is that there's actually internal rotation of the femur, which is your leg bone, and this gives the appearance that the kneecap is tracking outwards, but it's actually the foundation that's moved versus the patella that's moved. If you take a look at the anatomy of the femur, there's a groove and then there, the kneecap sits on top of it, and as you flex and extend your knee, that patella should just kind of go and rock in between those two spots. But when the femur is internally rotated, it can cause some friction and irritation on that outside portion. That's the reason why you have patellofemoral pain. When we look at actually treating patellofemoral pain syndrome, exercise has been shown to be the most effective treatment for this condition. When we used to think that the VMO was the reason why people would develop this condition, we would do terminal extension. So they would wrap a band around the knee and you would just focus on extending because that had been shown to activate the VMO. But since that's not the reason why people develop patellofemoral pain syndrome, you don't have to do that anymore. Instead, we'll focus on strengthening the muscles that externally rotate the femur, which are going to be the glute muscles. And then we'll also strengthen the quad muscles as well, as combined glute and quad strengthening has been shown to be superior to just knee strengthening alone. And so for the glutes, let's say, we can either do the traditional clamshell where you're laying on your side and you're lifting your leg apart, so that way you're targeting the glutes, or we could do a standing hip abduction exercise as well. And so we'll hold that position for somewhere between 30 to 45 seconds to help start strengthening the glute. For the quads, we could do a wall sit, and that'll help start strengthening the quad muscles. So if we look at progressing the hold it, move it, load it, holding it is that standing hip abduction exercise, or a clamshell if you're just holding it. And then we'll progress to moving it, so we'll either do like a glute bridge or like a monster walk. And then loading it, we'll do either like a squat or a deadlift or something like that, so that now we're really trying to strengthen the glutes. For the quads, we started by just doing a wall sit, and so we would progress that to some sort of movement. So we could either do an unloaded squat or an unloaded lunge, and then we can load those squats and lunge to really start building strength in the quads. Of course, there's plenty of different exercises we can use for either strengthening the glutes or the quads, but no matter what you do, you want to make sure that exercise is part of a treatment approach because it's been shown to be most effective in the short, medium, and long term for patellofemoral pain syndrome. If the pain is too severe and we need something to help decrease the pain so that we can exercise more comfortably, we can use either like a foot orthotic, kinesiology tape, or some sort of manual therapy around the knee to help decrease the pain. I can't really stress this enough, but these are short-term strategies, and so we really need to focus on the exercise portion of the treatment plan and not rely on the foot orthotics or manual therapy or anything like that as a fix. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Monday Mornings with Michael. I hope that you guys found this information useful. If you did, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Until then, I'm just going to hold this plank until you go ahead and push subscribe.
go ahead and push subscribe. I uh, don't know how long I can hold this plank. Just uh, click that button right there.